Hi there, welcome to today's video. I'm going to show you how to draw Lucario. Starting with Lucario's head. I'm just going to draw a map in an oval shape. He's pretty tricky to draw. And then his body sits in here. And then if I look, he's, this is his main part of his legs. Reminds me of a kangaroo, to be honest. Pretty cool. A lot of the Pokemons are designed around animals. All right, let's start with his head. I'm going to start with this line here. This is where his nose comes around. Now I'm drawing in pencil because he's quite tricky. You should still be able to see it. And if I make any mistakes and I learn from them, I can just rub them out. Don't forget the ear. The ear comes up and out like a kangaroo. This is another reason it, he reminds me of a kangaroo with those ears. And then we've got like a another shape like so with a little bit that comes up and this joins on so this is one side of his head now we've got to put his eye on so bring his eye around like that and then we'll fi finish that off later with the detail and then his head comes around like so I'm just going to point this around a little bit more i'll finish that off when i'm Outlining. So if that comes there, then his other eye is about here. Straight. And his ear comes back the other way, but sort of in line with this other ear. So it's a shape like that. And he's got his this part of his ear in here. Then he's got his mouth sits in here. Then he's got this spike that comes off here. Body comes in, and then he's got some fur. I'll do three bits here. Comes across, comes in, out, in line with sort of just his mouth here. And he's got this arm part there, which I'm just going to draw like so for now. And he's got these jagged bits coming off. His head comes out on an angle like that. Now he's got these other bits that come out as well. Let's draw them. One, two out this way. And then he's got one, two out this way. And his ears actually comes out a bit more than there, so I might just bring them up. Remember, art is about looking and comparing, so I'm just seeing if you've got his head this size, there's his body. Now this is his legs, so his bottom comes out there, and he's sort of wearing these big baggy shorts. So I'm just drawing an oval shape for that part of the short. And then it comes up and around, and then this is his leg. So this is his leg coming out here. So his leg comes out, down, and then he's got a big foot. So I'm just drawing his foot, sort of like a shape like that. It's kind of funny, but he's got these toes that, there's one, and here's his other toe. It comes up and around like that, and that's the side of his toe there, like so. Then he's got these other, Little bits as he's so he's got three toes. Just gonna bring that around. There we go. One, and then he's got this shadow part here. That's one foot. The other foot is in behind, so here's his pants coming out here. These are the other side of his pants coming up to join that one. And then he's got his leg is out the other side. And because that's further back, it's not going to be as big. And it wraps around like this. One, two, three toes. So three there, three there. His tail. Now we've got to draw his arms on. So one arm is coming out sort of like this. The other arm is coming out like that. So he's got his arms sort of sprayed up. It looks like he's jumping down. All right. 
Oh man. And see how I'm blocking in some of the main areas. So simplifying things down before I then bring in the detail can make it so much easier. Just putting in the three fingers and they're a shape sort of like a bit, bit sort of more squarish, making sure I've got on the, the spike on his hand as well. And then the details of his arm where it changes color. Now it's time to do the other arm and you can see I've already got the construction line there. All I have to do now is thicken that up and put on the details. So I've got the three fingers. Now this arm is slightly smaller because that's further away. So you wanna make sure that that's, the fist is smaller and the spike is small on the front one. Okay, that's called foreshortening. Once you've done all the construction lines, now it's time to outline. I'm using a 0.3 Copic multi-liner because I've got a, quite a bit of detail and just is a good size for what I'm drawing. Now you can change any parts here that you like. Um, if you thought that something needs to be slightly bigger or slightly smaller, like for example, this arm, I think it's just a little bit too far out. So I'm going to make sure the arm comes in a little bit. And I'm also putting variety of lines, so thicker outline to make Lucario pop off the page. And then I'm going to colour with Copic markers and pencils to finish off Lucario. If you have enjoyed watching this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And make sure you watch till the end because I want to share some of Jaden's artwork that he's done in some of my classes. So check them out. Hope you enjoyed drawing Lucario as much as I did and hey thanks Jaden for your suggestion great choice mate if you have a choice that at home that you'd like to see me draw comment below I've also got some other Pokemon videos that you can check out and here we have Jaden's awesome paintings that he's done with me in one of my painting classes some Pokemon characters there and some other characters well done Jaden great stuff mate till next time I'll see you later cheers bye see ya